you'll be able to kind of see what can happen with these. Oh! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hopefully y'all blessed. Hopefully y'all amazing. Hopefully y'all great. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure y'all turn on my post notifications, all of that. So, you know, when I upload and, you know, you can get yourself to the next level when it comes to this credit stuff, consumer law stuff, all of that. So as you can see in the title, we're going to be talking about these credit bureaus secrets. We're going to be revealing the hacks and secrets, all of that, right? So I'm gonna be revealing the credit bureau secrets. When we talk about the credit bureaus, you gotta really understand that the only bureau is the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which is the CFPB. When we talk about the language, but we talking about Experian, TransUnion, Equifax, those are consumer reporting agencies. So if you don't know the language, these are things you gotta understand when it comes to actual language of consumer law. So keep that in mind. So we're gonna be talking about revealing the credit bureau's secrets or the consumer reporting agency's secrets. And these are basically going to be hacks to help y'all get to the next level when it comes to the, getting your deletions and just like getting over that whole oh, verified, verified, verified. Because they're going to tell you verified, but it's like, how did y'all verify it? the information, right? So keep that in mind. So as far as these credit bureau secrets... If y'all get value in the video or anything I say, like one gem that I dropped that you all get value from, then definitely share the video with somebody, you know, because, you know, people got to get this information. Um, you know, I, I put a lot of time and effort into making these videos. I've been working all day. Might be tired, but, you know, we we keep going. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. You know, I do this for y'all. And, you know, if y'all appreciate what I'm doing, share the video with somebody and you can help them get to the next level. So one of the secrets of the credit bureaus, the consumer reporting agencies, however you refer to them, is that items are supposed to be deleted while they're under investigation. Maybe you didn't know that, but these items are supposed to be deleted while they are under investigation. What do I mean by that? If you know the Fair Credit Reporting Act, it's 15 U.S.C. 1681. If you go to 15 U.S.C. 1681I, procedures in case of disputed inaccuracy, or procedures in case of disputed accuracy, 15 U.S.C. 1681I, A1A, A1A, if I'm remembering off the top of my head, it talks about the fact that it's, it's like a long paragraph, but it talks about the fact that when you dispute something, you as a consumer, because you're the consumer, when you dispute something, it's supposed to be deleted while they're doing that investigation. If they don't delete it before the end of the investigation, they've already committed a violation in addition to whatever other uh, violations they committed. So y'all got to keep that in mind when it comes to looking at like how they dispute your information because when they're saying oh verified 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 before they said verified did they remove the information from your consumer report more than likely they did not so they already committed a violation so this is why i always stress the importance of understanding the fcra right this is why i put out um fcra master class two hour master class i went over the most important parts of the fcra so if you want to grab that you can text fcra to 914-353-4741 and it'll get you the masterclass. So you can go from there. So keep that in mind. So I need y'all to understand one of the secrets of the bureaus, consumer reporting agencies is that these items are supposed to be deleted while they're under investigation. But you don't know that because you don't understand the FCRA. You know that, but you're not enforcing it. You know what I'm saying? So it depends on whatever your situation is. Maybe you know it, maybe you don't know it. If you know it, you're just not enforcing it. If you don't know it, now you know it. So go ahead and enforce it. Let them know that item was supposed to be deleted pursuant to 15 USC 1681 IA1A, right? 
was supposed to be deleted before the investigation was completed. And on top of that, too, they're not going to do a full investigation just to be transparent with y'all. But that's besides the point. So 15 U.S.C. 1681 IA1A. Keep that in mind. Number two, revealing secrets of the credit bureaus, the consumer reporting agencies. They are constantly being sued. Why is this important? They are constantly being sued. And why this is important is because whenever you're writing your letters, your dispute letters, case law is very important. Case law is basically a case that you can reference where something had occurred. And if you're referencing the fact that, you know, something happened, then that's very important. One case y'all can look up that's really important is uh, Cushman versus TransUnion. I'm not going to get too deep into it, but if you look up Cushman versus TransUnion, you'll be able to kind of see what can happen with these. Oh, hold on. My light went off. We're going to keep recording. We're going to keep recording. I don't know what happened. Might have been a battery. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to keep recording. Y'all getting the real. Y'all are getting the real. My battery went up. Oh, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all of that. You know. We'll be doing what we could do. To get y'all these videos. Okay, okay. Are we back? So, like I said, you can sue these consumer reporting agencies for $1,000 per violation. And they are constantly being sued. And case law is important because you show where they've, you know, messed up or whatever. Like I said, you can look up Cushman versus TransUnion. You know, you can cite that case law. But that's one of the secrets, too. The fact that they're always being sued, doesn't that mean that they're doing something that's wrong? So use that to your advantage when it comes to getting those negative items removed. If you go to the CFPB, you look up old cases, you can see cases against TransUnion, Equifax, Experian, etc. right? So that's something you could do. Um, it can give you more confidence as far as, you know, getting your FCRA violations because you can get remedy off of these violations that they're doing. And sometimes what you'll see, like in my experience, what I've seen, sometimes what you'll see is if you come through, you know, eloquently enough, they might just settle before it even goes to court. Sometimes you're going to have to go to court. So you should prepare to even go to court. But sometimes it'll, you can settle outside of court before it actually goes to court. They might offer to delete it. They might offer monetary compensation, maybe lower than what you requested. But at that point, it's up to you. That's why with consumer law, every situation is different. And you got to understand that every situation is different. So I could tell you something I did, but it might not go the same way for you. It might go different for you. So this is why you got to understand and be patient when it comes to, you know, consumer laws. So keep that in mind. They're constantly being sued. So take advantage of that. If they're constantly being sued, hop on that bandwagon. Go ahead and, you know, threaten to sue them. They know they've been being sued for some millions of dollars. So it's like, you know, what can they do? They know they be in the wrong. They know they be violating the FDCPA. They know they be violating the FCRA. So go ahead and capitalize on that. Keep that in mind. That's one of the secrets too. So the next secret, it is not in their best interest to do a full and complete investigation. When it comes to a full and complete investigation, this is where understanding the FCRA comes into play. If you don't have my masterclass, the two hour masterclass, text FCRA to 914-353-4741. FCRA to 914-353-4741. Or just watch, you know, my free videos if you're if you're cheap. But if you want the fastest real result, go ahead and text FCRA to 914-353-4741. So, they're not going to do a full and complete investigation because it's not in their best interest. It's not in their best interest because they get paid to report the negative information that is on your consumer report. So keep that in mind. I need y'all to understand, you know, this information, understand these secrets about these credit bureaus, about these consumer reporting agencies. They will not 
do a complete and full investigation. So it's up to you to press them to do a full and complete investigation. They're not going to do it. So it's up to you to press them and let them know that they violated the FCRA because they did not do a full and complete investigation. If I am experienced TransUnion Equifax, if I've constantly got away with violating you and it doesn't help me by doing a full and complete investigation, I'm not going to do it because I know you're not going to press me about it. I know you don't know your rights. I know if you know your rights, you're not going to press me about it, though. Unless somehow you're following uh, Michael of Consumer Ammunition Tactics and then, you know, you did what you needed to do. But that's not most people in the world. You feel me? So keep that in mind. The last secret that I'm going to review about the credit bureaus, consumer reporting agencies, etc., is that they're not looking at your letters. Michael, what do you mean by that? They're not looking at my letters. So a human being is not looking at your letters. A human being is not looking at your letters, meaning that they run off something called the eOscar system. It's basically an electronic system. When you send in your letters, they scan it and it gives you a code. It gives you a code and they just classify you under something. And that's why you get something like, oh, verified, 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 even though it's like, how did you verify it? That's why I always say, when they say verified, you gotta question them. How did you actually verify the information? So these are different secrets I need y'all to understand about the credit bureaus, consumer reporting agencies, so that y'all can really understand how to navigate around the BS that they be putting out and you can really um, get to the next level. So hopefully this video brought you value. You know, hopefully you take this information and do something with it because I don't put out these videos just for y'all to watch it, get inspired, get entertained. I mean, you can get entertained, but at, at the end of the day, the biggest value for me is if y'all take action, y'all share it, you know, share it with somebody that needs it. Somebody can change your situation. And yeah, that's really what it is. So, you know, get tapped in or get left behind. Subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one.